Thank you for joining us. We're continuing our conversation here with Dr. Tom Riley, the Chancellor of the Nevada System of Higher Education. And Tom, one thing we didn't talk about is, is research. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, we've, we've recently, both UNLV and UNR are now both R1 status. Uh, first off, what is, what is R1 status? Well, Carnegie comes up with a classification uh, and the highest level is R1, very high research that um, basically um, is limited to the top 130 uh, higher education institutions nationally out of about 4,000. So it's a pretty elite and prestigious um, uh, category. Um, and, and part of that classification deals with the amount of research dollars that the university or institution brings in, as mm. well as the amount of, uh, of, of PhD level or doctoral level uh, individuals that graduate from their institution. Um, so this year we were extremely pleased to have both UNLV and UNR designated in that kind of elite group and um, you know that really translates into um, uh, new research opportunities uh, attracting some of the best and brightest uh, faculty who want to be part of that elite group of uh, uh, research institutions. Now how many how many research institutions are we talking about that have R1 status? It's about 130 uh, okay. of about 4,000. Wow. So yeah. it, it is a pretty Very elite group, and that's a fluid number. So I mean, it, it, they they go in and out. So when we were designated as part of the 130, several institutions fell out, and we're kind of on the bubble there. So uh, we need to ensure that um, we continually have this investment from the legislature and elsewhere um, of um, those research dollars that uh, we're ensuring that we're bringing in those dollars and producing graduate uh, level. Uh, uh, students and what's what's NSHE's role in, in in getting getting both those universities up to that R1 level? Is it is it more of a, a, a funding thing, making sure the funding's in place, or, or you yeah? Well, I mean, it, it is is those universities earn that UNR and UNLV. It's okay. it was their students and faculty and presidents and and uh, legislators and regents and everyone over a long period of time. I mean, UNLV started this this, this dream, if you will, about becoming an R1 under uh, Dr. Carol Harder. Uh, years ago, people laughed at her, like, really? UNLV becoming an R1? Um, and uh, they accelerated their pace uh, and uh, became very strategic, like UNR, about how to obtain that. It's very competitive. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, part of that, it's been, you know, donors, it's been students and faculty, it's been legislators. I mean, uh, this past legislative session and, and, and during this session, we have capacity building grants that have been started at our, there are initiatives at our institutions, simply put, at UNR and UNLV, it's, it's focused on research, mm -hmm. and at uh, our community colleges and state college, it's workforce. Uh, but those dollars are, are being targeted to bring in faculty, to bring in new research areas uh, mm -hmm. in order to sustain it. You know, now that we have it, we have to sustain and make sure we keep it, right? Right. And, right. and that uh, is a lot of hard work.